Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's project will be doing a proper alignment on the Polaris Sportsman ATV headlights. Now, we'll be going over the high and low beam alignment. So if this is something that's gonna interest you, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so welcome back. Here is my XP1000. And uh, recently I did the Polaris LED upgrade, which is the three-piece LED housing with the three-piece halo. And uh, that was part one. Part two was the custom install of the wiring harness, which only lights up the halos. So you can have the machine running, headlights off, and just have the halos running. And this video here is going to be the alignment of uh, the three-piece headlight system. So this alignment procedure will work pretty much for any Polaris 2017 and up, I believe, which has this style headlight system, as you see here. Now, after I do the alignment on the high and low beam, uh, because right now I have my high beam kind of pointing low and my low beams pointing high, they're kind of crisscrossed. So once I get that out of the way, I'll go ahead and do some uh, night footage here and show you guys how the new headlight system performs and uh, just, you know, give you some clips and to see what the lighting output is. Um, I can tell that they're already brighter for sure. And they have more of a, of a cast uh, sideways and uh, vertically. So hopefully once I get these things aligned and dialed in just right, um, they work really well because I did uh, want to put a light bar on my machine, but I've been holding off because I went ahead and jumped for uh, the three piece LED halo upgrade first. So let me show you a kind of uh, in the workshop what the headlights look like, the stock ones at least, uh, for alignment. And that way you get an idea of what I'm doing. So these are the stock halogen housings that I took off my XP1000 Hunter. And it's a very simple system, okay? So you have two posts on either side, which allow the headlight to pivot this way in this axis. And then your alignment would be from this screw here. This screw gets tightened down, there's some tension on the spring, and you would make an adjustment on the back side of the screw here, which is accessible through the top rack. We can take a look really quick on the machine what that looks like. That way you guys can see kind of in detail what I'm doing. Um, right here is the alignment kind of axis cutaway. So you can get to that from there. You don't have to get too crazy. Now these headlights, if you watched my video, they have these same screws with spring on all three points. So because this has a three piece spring and screw system, I might have to align the headlight this way as well. So for a rotation in the B axis, uh, this would be your A axis. Uh, so pretty much I'll go ahead and, and align the headlight housing uh, up against the garage door outside. And um, I'll show you guys what that looks like. And what I'll do is measure the center line of what the actual bulbs are or projector lenses in this case with the LED bulbs here. I'll measure the center lines with the measuring tape off the ground. And then what I'll do is I'll mark off on the garage door the same center line, but then subtract like two, three inches. That way I have like a downward angle on the lights. So I will do this outside, not on the inside of the garage. So it just looks better and you'll get a better kind of projection. I'll stand back like 50 feet or something and um, I'll do it that way. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's a very simple kind of adjustment for the low beams. On the high beam, you have one adjustment, which is through this slot here on a 2018. So what you do is take a Phillips, actually, sorry, you take a slotted screwdriver and you loosen up that post, that screw there, and then that will loosen it to the point where you can just pivot this up and down. I'll show you on the housing in the workshop here so you can get a better idea what it looks like underneath the, the cover. So that's what it looks like. It's a very simple system. It pivots on this. Uh, there's two like elastic bands that go over this, one on either side. And then this is where that post that you loosen up and then you would adjust. And that all that does is bring it up and down as a bracket here. So once you tighten it, it locks it down on that bracket that's attached to the handlebars. So that's just a very simple adjustment there for the high beam. It's just a matter of getting your set height right and then project it out 50 feet in whatever angle you want to be at. You know, I'm going to go ahead and probably measure it out to be like a two or three inch drop 
That way I get some kind of projection outwards. My machine does have a two inch lift, the high lifter two inch lift. So that all has to come into consideration when aiming your headlights. If you have a stock machine, it's going to be different. So every machine will be slightly different. Like I said, my machine here has the high lifter two inch lift it and also 28 inch tires on it. So that's going to be a different height compared to say my girlfriend's 850 here which still has the stock 26 inch uh, Duro Power Grip V2s and the high lifter two inch lift kit. So you can tell there's a difference there just by looking at the machines, the height wise, just because of the tires. So let me get started, set the machine up outside 50 feet away from the garage door. And then I'll go ahead and adjust the headlights and kind of work through the process. So let's take a look at the normal pattern right now, unadjusted. So this is a brand new 2020 machine. And let's turn on the low beam. So that is quite high for low beam. Uh, it should be lower than that. <laughs> and high beam. So high beam is just above the low beam. They're both kind of high actually. So I measured on my machine and this machine the center lines of the headlights and on my machine you have 45 for the for the high beam on the center line of the, the lens and then 35 so there's a 10 inch height difference so this machine here we have an inch and a half lower than mine because of the tires the tires are 27s but they actually measure 26 so we have um 43 and a half and then 33 and a half for the, for the low beams. So there's that 10 inch height difference, but essentially we're gonna wanna cast the light downward. So I'm gonna tape off marks on the garage door at like, say, I don't know, 31 and 41. And uh, that'll give us like a, a four, four inch drop or so. So that should be good. And then I'll, I'll test it out and see how it works. But one more time. Low beam, high beam, and then off. It's way too high on this 850 from the, the factory. I haven't adjusted these lights at all, so that's how it came. Let's take a look at mine. These are gonna be off because I just put them in and I did not align them whatsoever. So these are a little bit better actually. Still, the high beam is like just wicked low. So right there, that's no good. So. I'll go ahead and adjust these, but I wanted to show you guys uh, a before kind of and then after as well. So I'll go ahead and get these adjusted and then uh, we'll take some trips out in the trails out back and then we'll check out how they perform. Alright, so let's start off with the 850 and get this one straightened away. I'm just going to turn on the lights now. So we have high be sorry, low beam and high. So the two pieces of tape there on the garage door are 32 and 42. So we're just going to center the beam right on those two pieces of tape and then call it a day.
that's going to be good enough. That's going to give us three inches of drop and we should have uh, good projection in the right area. So as simple as lifting this up, we're going to end up blocking the high beam for us. So we'll do the, the low beam. You could take a T25 Torx and then adjust right here. Not sure if you guys can see, but let me just do that. So we adjust right here. You want to go underneath your plastic. And we'll first adjust the low beams. And it's coming down. Just going to center it. Okay. Wow, that needs a lot of tightening. Okay, so that's that's good. Let's go on the other side. Do the same thing. Lift the plastic up and make the adjustment. So as you can see, there's a big difference of where it was to where it should be. It's really tight, but it needs to be adjusted properly. So what I'm going to do is actually overlay uh, the low beam. So one lower than the other. So I'm going to just do something like that with it. Center one on 32 inches and then center the other on 35 and see what happens um, and see how I like it because there is a lot of tension here when I tighten these housings and I don't want to strip out the plastic threads. So low beams on this machine are done. Let's try out the uh, high beam. So high beam is a slotted screwdriver and you just loosen that post. And bring it down. So this one has a more diffuse kind of light pattern if you can see there. I have the housing loose right now and it's just kind of floating up and down with my fingers. So for high beam you want to kind of get it right there. I mean that seems like it's good. I'm gonna adjust it for that right there. Let's see how that performs. Tighten that down. That should be good now. We'll try that out. It seems like this uh, halogen housing on the two, 2020 uh, 850 gives more diffuse light. So. The new upgraded LED high beam pod in mine is different. It gives you a different pattern, just like you see here on the low beams. It has a more defined cutoff. So I'm just going to tighten this up. Uh, I like the way that looks. It's good. So we have a nice kind of centered uh, beam patterns on 32 and 35. And with the high beam being centered on 35 inches off the ground. So. I'm going to do the same thing to my machine now. Simple as that. We'll turn this off. Actually, we'll go ahead and just let's check that out. So, so when you you ride the machine, the beam is going to go up and down a little bit. That's okay. You know. High beam. Low. Low and high. So, oh, on this, so on these, hmm, interesting. So the bottom ones, the LEDs have two lenses. So we're going to have to make sure those are aimed correctly as well. So as you can see, there's two on the ground kind of aimed and then two up forward, up high. So that seems like it's a good balance between the two 
and uh, I'll give it a ride and see how it performs. So let's go ahead and do my machine now. The XP1000, same way. So, as you can see there, those are the low beams. So let's go ahead now and adjust the low beam, just like we did on the 850. Raise the plastics and just tighten this thing down. So one of them I'm going to aim, like I said, to the bottom tape, which is 32. About right there. Seems good. Let's go do the other side. It works better if you go underneath the plastic versus on top. There's less strain on the uh, on the screw head. So that one's pretty much good. I'm gonna call it that. Okay. Let's see, turn on the high beam. The yeah, high beam is way out of whack. So let's go adjust the high beam. So loosen it up and let's aim that at 35 inches. So that's good. That's a just about that. Let's let me see if I can get it higher. Since it has a more defined cutoff, I just want to get it up up a little bit more. There we go. Now, I mean, you can always adjust this as you need. So, if I decide to go a little bit higher, a little bit lower, it's as simple as that. I just go ahead and I'll adjust them. So there is my low beams. That looks pretty good. The machines are offset, so we're off the center of the garage. I'm on the left here with the XP1000. So that's why it looks kind of more of a hot spot on the left side with this machine right now. And the other machine was more hot spotty on the right because I am not um, pointing towards the center exactly. So. Um, I try to point the machine so they're like kind of like this, but um, this is what it kind of came out as. So the headlights are adjusted now, so we're we have more of a, a more tighter scatter pattern uh, towards 32 and 35 center line uh, inches off the ground. So now it's time to take them out on the trail and see how they perform and uh, see if they light up the trail really good. So let's go try that out and um, see how they are. All right, so I did notice something different about the, um, the three-piece retrofit kit versus what's on my girlfriend's stock 850, which is a 2020. So I have the machines right now with the, just the key on. So you have three halos, two halos, right? But I notice there's a difference when you turn on the low beams. So low beams on this only light up one of the two LED projector lenses on the 850. But on my machine here, which has that retrofit kit from Polaris, low beam does both of the LED projector lenses on the bottom. So you have four elements lit up and then only two elements lit up as you can see here. Four and two. I'm not counting the halo, so I'm just talking about that LED glass lens, the projector lens. So that's something different. There's going to be more lighting output with this retrofit kit versus how they come stock on the 850, which is a 2020. So that's interesting. I just noticed that. I want to kind of bring that forward. But let's go ahead and uh, take a trailer ride and see how they perform.
Well guys, that's it for today, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.